RobinReaction.com. In this video, I'm going to go over how to balance redox reactions in basic conditions. So for these problems, you're usually going to have either acidic or basic conditions. Acidic is usually the norm, and it's very similar to how we balance basic conditions. So if you need to learn for acidic, this video is going to teach you 95% of what you need to know, but I'm going to be doing a basic problem. So we have a reaction on the right hand side, and all we have to do is follow these nine steps, and then we will get our answer. These problems are obviously more complicated than regular balancing equations that you may have learned, but they still have just a sequence of steps you have to follow. As long as you do these steps, you're going to be fine. So step number one is to assign oxidation numbers to all molecules and split into two half reactions. So these are our oxidation number rules. And if this step is unclear to you guys, I have a video that is just talking about oxidation numbers and how to assign them. Go ahead and watch that. I'll link to it here and then come back and do these problems. All right, so let's go ahead and start labeling. So looking at our manganese oxide, we are going to follow rule number five, which tells us that oxygen is always negative two. And now to find the manganese, we'll have to do a little bit of math. So here's what we know about this molecule. We have four oxygens, and each one of the oxygens oxidation number is negative two. And then we know that we have a manganese that has some oxidation number, and we know that this all adds up to negative one. So now it's just a matter of doing a little bit of basic algebra and saying, all right, if the total sum of our negative charges is negative eight, and we get to negative one, the only thing that's going to fit in here is positive seven. So that must be the oxidation number of our manganese. All right, and now doing our carbon containing molecule. So once again, we know that every oxygen is negative two. And then for this molecule, we know that each oxygen is negative two, that we have two carbons, they're each going to have an oxidation number. And we add this all together, we're going to get negative two. So adding these all together, our negative sum is negative eight. And so we need our positive sum to be a total of positive six, which means split between the two carbons, they each have to be positive three. When you're doing this, you're always gonna have them be the same. You would never say like one carbon is positive four and one carbon is positive two. You're just going to split them completely evenly down the middle. All right, so now doing the right hand side, we have MnO2. We know that our sum in this case is zero because there is no charge on the molecule. Each oxygen is going to be negative two, which means the only thing that fits in here is positive four. And then last but not least, carbon dioxide. We know that we have negative two coming from each oxygen. We have one carbon, which is going to be something. We know that our sum is zero. So the only thing that fits in here is plus four. All right, so now going ahead and comparing and seeing what happens. Our manganese is going from plus seven to plus four, so that's getting more negative, which means you're adding electrons, so you are being reduced. This is the reduction half reaction. And the carbon is going from plus three to plus four. So it's getting more positive, so it's the oxidation half reaction. All right, so now that we've done that work, let's go ahead and make some space and start splitting these into two different reactions. All right, so the second part of step one is to just go ahead and split these into two reactions. So that's going to look like this. And you'll notice that we also have oxygen in this reaction and that it does not get reduced or oxidized. So in all of these reactions are gonna be done usually in water and in either acidic or basic conditions, which also adds more hydrogen and more oxygen. So we oxygen is not getting oxidized or reduced. It's just kind of there to make the molecules. What we really care about is manganese getting reduced and carbon getting oxidized. All right, so now we've officially finished step one, and now we're ready for step two, balance elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. So for our manganese, we're actually done, right? Because we only have one on each side. But for our carbon-containing compounds, we do need to do a little bit of balancing. 
we have two carbons on the left hand side and one on the right hand side so we have to go ahead and add a two right here all right so now step two is done now we have to go ahead and balance oxygen with h2o so we're going to have to do this for both our half reactions right so looking at our manganese right now we have four oxygens on the left hand side and two on the right hand side so we're going to need to add a couple we need two more oxygen on the right hand side which means we have to add two waters and now for our carbon containing half reaction we have four oxygens on the left hand side and we already have four oxygens on the right hand side that worked out nicely so we can just copy this down all right and so step number four balance hydrogen with h plus in our manganese half reaction we don't have any hydrogen on the left hand side and we have four on the right hand side so we're going to need to modify that and once again we're already balanced on the right hand side just because there is no hydrogen now step five balance the charge with electrons so by charge we mean overall charge of each individual side so looking at this side we have a charge of plus four from the hydrogens and a charge of minus one from the manganese oxide so that's going to add up to a charge of plus three and on the right hand side both molecules are neutral so that's a charge of zero and now moving along on our left hand side here we have a charge of negative two and on our right hand side we have a charge of zero so now each electron has a charge of negative one so we have to always add electrons to the more positive side so what I'm going to do for the manganese reaction is to add three electrons to the left hand side because now that's going to take the charge all the way to zero and then for our carbon containing half reaction I'm going to again add electrons to the more positive side which in this case is the side with the charge of zero and I need to get it to negative two so I need to add two electrons to the right hand side so now the charge is balanced in our two half reactions and now we need to multiply to make electrons in each half reaction balanced so we can't add them together right now because the charge then wouldn't be balanced we'd have three electrons on one side and two electrons on the other side so what we can see here the math we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply this entire reaction by two and this entire reaction by three and that way we're going to end up with six electrons on both sides so going ahead and rewriting that's one half reaction and the other one all right so I just multiplied the coefficients on every molecule by either two or three depending on what half reaction they were in so now I'm ready to add the half reactions together which is just to combine the two left hand sides and then to combine the two right hand sides so the two left hand sides are going to have these three components and this component so going ahead and redrawing and then the two right hand sides are going to have this component this component this and this so going ahead and redrawing that now it's time to finally address that we're dealing with basic conditions and so if we we're in acidic conditions we would just skip step 8a and go straight to 8b and that would be it but since we're now in basic conditions we need to realize okay our final reaction can't have h plus in it it can only have oh minus so what you want to do is you want to add enough oh to cancel out the h plus and each OH and an H plus are going to combine to form water. So one H plus and one OH will equal a water. And so we look at our reaction, we see that we have eight H plus on the left hand side, which means we're going to have to add eight OHs to both sides. So don't forget this step. We can't just add OH to one side. We have to keep everything balanced. So we're going to add a plus 8 OH minus here and a plus 8 OH minus here and now these are going to 
cancel out and end up forming eight waters. But the eight OHs that we have on the right hand side don't have any H pluses to cancel out with, so they're going to remain there. So when I redraw, my reaction is going to look like this. All right, so now I'm ready for step 8b, cancel out the duplicate molecules. So the one thing that's always going to get canceled out in this step is the electrons. That's the whole point of these problems is to cancel out the charges. And now looking around, I can see that I have some waters on both sides. So I can completely cancel out these four waters. And that means that this eight is going to get changed into a four because four of the waters got canceled out, but four of them remain. And now looking, scanning the rest of the molecule, I don't see anything else. So I'm going to redraw and this is my final balanced equation. All right, and so I always include step nine, double check your work, especially on an exam if you have time. It can be super important just to make sure you've avoided mistakes. So looking over at my steps, it looks like everything's good. So that's going to be good. But if you are doing these problems for the first time or you're on a test, double check seriously take a couple of minutes to do it just to make sure everything looks good all right hope this problem helped you learn how to balance redox reactions in basic conditions and happy studying hey i hope you liked that video please feel free to like comment or subscribe and if you go to my website i have a ton of free practice problems you can check out and if you need even more help you can hire me for one-on-one -on -one private tutoring sessions that are online all right thanks that's it happy studying